I wish every Final Cut Pro user could watch this video on how to use compressor because I'm gonna show you how to speed up your Final Cut workflow. I'll reveal the three-step formula to export your video with compressor's mighty transcoding powers. And at the end, I'll show you how to export your video to several different formats in just two clicks. Let's compress. All right, I have my project here in Final Cut Pro. And if I go to file, I can select send to compressor. We'll select new batch. That opens up compressor with our project in it. You can see that project right here. It's gonna take a second to load it up. I can preview the project here in this viewer. Compressor's broken up into three different sections. In the middle, we have this batch pane. We have a spot where we can preview our projects and then where the projects are listed out and then how we're going to compress them. The other option is watch folders. I can add folders in here and Compressor will keep an eye on those and anytime a file's added to it, it will run through and compress. Over on the right is the settings and locations pane. You can close it and open it with this button. Compressor comes with a bunch of built-in settings and we can make some custom ones, which I'll show you in a little bit. Locations has a quick access to the built-in destinations or where you're going to save your files. You can also create custom locations. And over here on the right-hand side is the inspector. This shows information about the job you're going to do, or the video you're going to compress and the settings, that's where all the magic happens. All right, so to use Compressor, we need to add some export settings to this project. Let's open up Apple Devices and we'll just drag and drop this Apple Devices 4K onto our project. You'll see it has it listed down here. And if I want, I can add more as well. Let's do an HD 1080p. I can add as many as I want and Compressor will go through and create those different versions for me. I can also click on Add to quickly access the settings. If I want to add more projects, I can click here and then I can find projects or videos that I want to add. Select a setting and in the inspector here, we can change a lot of settings. We can change some general properties. We can also change specific things about the video compression, but we'll do that in a little bit. We can also tweak the audio. Right click on it and select location. We'll put these on the desktop. You can select different locations for each setting as well. And then click start batch. It brings up the active window here. This shows your active jobs that you're doing right now. And after it's done, it'll disappear in active and show up under completed. Here's what we just compressed. Let's take a look at our compressed files. Mine are on the desktop and here they are. They've been labeled with their specific settings. Here's the 4K one and the 1080p. Another way to do this is to add a destination so you can use it over and over again and you don't have to go into the compressor app. With your project done and selected, you can go to file, share, and then select add destination or right click on your project and select share project, add destination or Click on this little button in the upper right corner and click on add destination. Drag and drop compressor settings to your list and it will pop up this little menu here. Go through and choose what you want to add as your compressor setting. Let's go to Apple devices and we'll select that Apple devices 4K and click OK. I can change it by clicking here and selecting a new one and pressing OK. I can also right click on this and I have a few options. I can make this my default share destination. So when I press command E, it will automatically use this compressor settings. I can duplicate it and then change it. I can also delete it and I can make a new bundle from this selection, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now I can close this and from my projector, I can quickly click on this and select my compressor destination. I'll have my regular export window dialog come up. I can make some changes here and then I'll press next. I'll give it a name and then I'll hit save. So this is one way to use compressor without actually opening up compressor. Coming up in just a second, I'm gonna show you that trick for exporting one project to different variety of formats in just two clicks. But first we need to make a custom compressor destination. You'll notice here that we can't really tweak or customize this setting. We can change which setting, but to really make changes to it, we need to go back to compressor. Let's say we want to tweak this one. I can select it. And if I go over here to video to change the settings, you'll see it's all grayed out. I can't really change anything here. So instead I'll right click on it and I'll select duplicate. You'll see it makes a copy down here in my custom section. Now I can make all sorts of changes down here. Let's change the codec to HEVC and let's change the quality to higher. It'll take a little bit longer and then Let's change the bit rate from automatic and let's set it to a specific rate. We'll set it to 10,000. There's a lot of different ways you can customize your video preset, but I'm happy with this. Let's go back to general and we can change the name of it. Let's say it's Apple devices again, 4K, but this time it's HEVC and our bit rate changed 
to 10K. I can also set the default location. Let's go to the desktop. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro and let's change this custom destination to our custom one we just built. I'll scroll down to the bottom, I'll find my custom section and I'll select it and then I'll press OK. Now I can use that to export quickly from Final Cut Pro. Let's go back to compressor and click on this little plus button in the bottom left corner to add a setting and select new setting. Let's give it a name, Dylan's fabulous setting. And we'll select our format, we'll do a quick time movie and press OK. Now I can come in here and I can adjust all of my settings to be exactly what I want. We can set the frame size up to a certain size and our frame rate will set to be specific. And let's change the codec. We'll go to H.264 and for the data rate, let's do web publishing. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro and let's make a bundle. This is how you can export one project to several different video formats. Click on add a destination and add bundle. Now go to add destination and let's put in YouTube and Facebook and let's do export file and one more let's add a compressor setting let's go down and use my custom one I just made my fabulous setting there it is I'll select it and press OK and now I have this bundle I'll close this and I can take this project and if I click export I can select the bundle and it will export this video in all three different settings. So we have YouTube and Facebook, then export file, and then fabulous settings. I can select the different export destinations, and then I can tweak the settings here or the roles if I want. Then I can go to the next one and change those settings. And when I'm ready, I'll click next and I'll give it a name and press enter to save. And then Final Cut will export using those three different share methods. All right, I saved mine to the desktop, so we'll see the three different versions exported ready to go. What a time saver. So now that you know how to use Compressor, you're ready to export your videos. But before you do that, I want to share something with you. I put together this pack of plugins. It's called the All-Star Pack. It's a pack of titles and transitions and effects. It's perfect for making your videos look more professional. Check out this title that comes with it. It's a cool social media call to action. I can change the positioning, the size. I can change the rotation. I can customize the text as well. And I can even customize the look of it, changing like the color, for example. So this is just one example. The All-Star Pack comes with a bunch of these social media callouts. It also comes with some animated icons and transition and a cool fade in and out effect. It's worth $138, but I want to give it to you for free. Just click the link in the description. Happy editing.